From the moment he called me and said that he was interested in bringing me over as a coach, I literally walked in the lounge room and told my wife, Kate, that yeah, we're moving to Japan. In August, I was struggling in Seattle, to be honest, and with COVID and 2020 and homeschooling for the, for the family. And I only spoke to Ange for a few times. I only knew him when his national team coach to say hello. And you know, I just sent him an email just saying like, I need help, I'm struggling, I'm overseas and you're overseas and can you just give me some advice? He wrote back that night just saying like, hang in there, you know, stay overseas, you're doing a good job and been watching you and all this kind of stuff. And it kind of just like, I was like, okay, here we go. Like, you know, Andrew's written back to me. So I was kind of like, okay, I can do this. And we went again and we recharged the batteries. And then, yeah, he just sent me a message and said like, you, you're up for a chat and we spoke for 50 minutes and hopped off the phone and that's when I told my wife I'm moving to Japan. I always say to people I sacrifice nothing because it's the best job in the world. I love coaching, you know, it, my family sacrificed everything by coming with me. When, my, when they move to Japan with me it'll be my, my son's 11 and it'll be seventh school that he's had so I'm not in Japan to just be there and, and make up a number of Australian coach in Japan. I want to learn, I want to keep going and I'm 40, 41. I still see myself as a young coach at six years, but you know, I'm definitely serious about coaching. I've only worked with him now for a little bit, but he's the best coach. He, for me, he's the best coach in Australia in terms of what he's done. You know, the A-League, his team at Brisbane were horrible to play against. The Asian Cup with Australia winning that, and then obviously winning the J-League and what he's done in Japan. So how do you turn that down? Like, how do you turn down the J-League and Yokohama and, and Ange. I always wanted to work in Japan and loved the place when we went there with Mariners through the Asian Champions League and everyone talks about how beautiful the city is and how nice the people are in Japan and really for me it was just watching the games. Lifestyle living will, will come second and you know, cutting my teeth with hands is going to be incredible.